Hey guys, Rob to Third Bad Poncho Outdoors. Today we are looking at how to find lake maps and information about lakes on Google. Uh, so essentially, we're going to start with is we're going to start with the Michigan DNR and kind of what they have. So I'm going to type in Clear Lake, Van Buren County. Uh, this is a small lake that we recently scanned, um, but before doing so, I, I always check out the lake on Google. Um, so you can kind of say, hey, th this is where this is at. Google Maps is an excellent way to get a quick look at the lake. Um, and once my internet slowly loads, we'll load on in there and I will look at... Okay, so it's over by 2nd Ave. There's a picture of it. Let's get that out of the way. But Google Earth or some kind of satellite imagery is really what we want. So once we get on to this satellite imagery, you can kind of see how around the lake you get a lot of weed growth, a lot of grass, a lot of pads. But you can easily see too how right along here you've got a shallow shelf that just dumps off by the looks of it, which makes things interesting. <laughs> so I'm going to hit back to Google, another tab. And I'm going to type in, again, Clear Lake Van Buren. So I'm going to type in quotation mark, PDF, quotation mark. So what this is going to do is it's going to search for um, things that say Clear Lake Van Buren with the exact um, case and everything of PDF. So once I do that, I'm going to open this one in a new tab. Um, you'll see this is a report from the Michigan DNR. Uh, so essentially it's saying it, Clear Lake is a small lake in Pine Grove. It's about 70 acres. Uh, maximum depth is 55 feet. Transitional depth zones of the lake are limited as a result of the steep drop-offs. So it's not a, a ton of transitional depth zones, so it doesn't you know, kind of slowly sweep. It just kind of goes pop and jumps right down. Um, for the most part, though, the depths are you know, 30 to 50 feet. So it's a pretty deep lake overall. You know, your alkalinity, your um, oxygen content, all that kind of good stuff's on here. I'm just kind of say, hey, you know, the fish should be above 41 feet. You'll see here, acceptable to warm water fish species down to 41 feet, which helps us narrow it down. Okay, don't worry about pretty much 40 feet and deeper. We will ignore that, those depths. It will tell you that the lake was the last map in 1962, so there could have been changes since then if there's dredging or anything like that had been done. This lake is not stocked. Um, it has no fisheries management um, taken to that lake, so it has been pretty much untouched and natural since its beginning, essentially. I'll give you a quick overview. Um, largemouth, pretty abundant predator, the most abundant predator, 11% um, of the catch. So it's, we have a lot of a lot of bass there. That's nice. And then you'll see that you have on the very, you know, towards the bottom of these reports, usually you'll find a quick bathymetric map. And then you'll find uh, length by age class. Then you'll also find what they have as far as raw numbers of what they, they caught in their survey. So what we're looking at here, Okay, so largemouth, they're, they're pretty small on average. But that doesn't mean that they surveyed the entire lake. That just means that the, the small part they set, they surveyed had small fish. So what we're looking at primarily here that I use this for is what type of baits am I going to throw? Um, I likely won't be throwing as many yellow perch baits because they only count for 4.8%. Black crappie, I, I might throw a few crappie baits out there, um, but I kind of doubt it. I'm going to lean more towards the bluegill. Bluegill account for 49.2% of their survey. means the bass are more than likely primarily feeding on bluegill as their forage. So I'm going to be throwing a lot of probably beavers up in the grass, probably some square bills, probably some spinner bait, stuff like that. Something that has that bluegill-esque look and feel to it. 
So we have kind of an idea of what I'm going to be throwing. So we know it's going to be pretty deep. Um, but it's got shallows that are shelved. So they'll narrow that down a little bit for me. Next up, we're going to hit back to our Google search. I'm going to take this PDF part out of there. I'm going to type in lake map. So we'll see here that the DNR of Van Buren County has a few lake maps. We're going to hit clear lake. Once this pops up, we're going to start to kind of see the way the lake is built. So the north end of the lake is a large flat, a large shallow flat. You see a couple of five foot holes. Maybe that might be worth checking out. See the transition line in the uh, bottom composition is different. The, the lake is mostly marl. Like on the south side, though, southwest side, there's a few spots of sand. Those might be worth kind of checking out. And there's a water inlet. And so if this lake warms up quickly, which I kind of doubt it being as it's a deeper lake, the um, fresh water coming in from there might be might be something to look at. But essentially, that's what we're looking for. It's kind of what I'm going to be doing. Being as it's a little early in the season, maybe we'll look at heading up to the north end and throwing some spinner baits, buzz baits, and swim baits around. But essentially, that's what we're looking for, guys. We're looking for reports and DNR maps. These are available to you free. Obviously, you saw I just did them on Google really, really quickly. Super simple, super quick. I'm Rob Trithard, Bad Poncho Outdoors. Thanks for watching, guys.